Good morning, Rebel. Good morning, Rebel. Good morning, Rebel. So this is what it looks like this morning. Snow. I'm one of those people that doesn't really like snow. Makes me just want to stay in bed all day. <laughs> yep, I'm getting back inside because it's freezing. Hi, Roni. What do you think of the snow, huh? <laughs> they have little jackets that they wear when they go outside and stuff. Do, 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 do. I don't show you guys dolly. There she oh you can't see her. It's too dark. Dolly! She's in there. I promise. It's kinda of dark in there though. Hi Rebel. Hi Rebel. It's my mom. Hi. So, yeah, morning. Good morning. What do you think of the snow? What do I think of the snow? Yeah. It's pretty. But it's freezing and it should go away. <laughs> hey! Those are my slippers. Those are toys. <laughs> Put that slipper down. There's Dolly. Now that she's out of her box, you can see her. Hey, dolls. Okay, so I know my face looks a little crazy. I'm working on doing my makeup. So, I'm sorry if I like multitask, but I figured that I would uh, get on here while I was doing my makeup and talk to you guys. My mom is doing so good lately. Over the past couple of days, she's been improving so much and she has been, you know, trying to wean herself off of taking the pain medications, which is awesome because then she actually be is she's actually able to tell if it's actually hurting her or not. And she has doing been doing really really good. So each day I have been progressingly giving her more time to herself, um, like letting her watch TV or things like that. Uh, we do have a bell type system set up. So if she pushes a button upstairs, it will make this sound go off in my room, and it's like ding dong, and it means that like she needs me. Um, so we have that option, uh, but the reason that I was so determined to be right next to her all the time was because the nurse, when we had left, told me straight up, you need to make sure and be with her for a while. She didn't say how long. She said for a while because she just had a drain tube in her throat and if she has trouble breathing or, you know, lightheadedness or things like that, you need to contact someone or get her to the ER right away. So I could easily call an ambulance or something if I needed to. And if she's trying to grasp, gasp for air and things like that, she's not necessarily going to have time to push that button and let me know that she needs me. So I guess that's why I'm kind of like paranoid to leave her alone at long periods of time because I've just... I don't know. I'm nervous. I, I'm nervous that something's going to happen and it's going to be my fault. And I don't want that to happen. Um, but anyway, gradually over the past few days, since it has been about a week and a half since the surgery, I am, you know, she's obviously getting up and going to the bathroom on her own. And um, most of the reason that I have been staying right by her side is because my mom is the type of person that she hates just sitting around doing nothing. She hates it. She has to get up. She has to clean. She has to dust. She has to cook. She has to wipe down counters. She has to feed animals. She has, she feels like she needs to do all these things and she's not used to having someone else do it all for her. So that's why I kind of stand right next to her and tell her when she's doing too much because She's the type of person that will do too much and it will kind of counteract the healing process and it won't fuse together properly. So that's why I feel the need to be around her all the time. Even if she can get up and do everything on her own, she shouldn't be doing absolutely everything on her own because I can't, she can't be reaching up in the top shelf for gla for her glass or her cup or she can't be bending over to put water in the dog's bowl or, you know, certain things like that. She shouldn't be kanking her neck a certain way because it could affect the healing process and 
that is probably the reason it didn't take the first time she had it done about three or four years ago is because I wasn't aware of the situation and she would always do things. And I just thought, oh, she's getting much better. She's doing a lot better. Well, it didn't heal properly. So my assumption is that she wasn't supposed to be doing those things. So, you know, that's why I'm kind of just like on her case about it sometimes. But I, um, I had been uh, doing my makeup upstairs, you know, for, it, it was a time passer. I didn't necessarily need the makeup on my face. I mean, I don't care. I'm just at home anyway. <laughs> But I had been, you know, do, taking, I took my, my little travel case up with me and I was just playing around with makeup every day, you know, for like a week while, while she was, um, laid up and stuff. So she, uh, she told me, she's like, you can go downstairs and do your face and vlog if you want while I finish watching my, my, uh, videos because she has um, a soap opera that she likes to watch. She watches Days of Our Lives and she's like, I need to catch up on it so you can go do your thing for a little bit and if I need you, I'll press the button. So I figured that I would come down here and work on my face a little bit and then go check on her and then come work on it some more and all that fun stuff. But yes, she is doing really, really, really well and um, as far as I know, I am still going to Hobby Lobby today, um, probably around five-ish, I don't know, I have to call my, talk to my friend and find out if we are going or not, um, because I don't, I obviously don't want to go if the weather is crappy and she doesn't feel comfortable driving, I don't want to put that extra strain or anything like that on her, um, but yeah, I just been taking care of mom and all that fun stuff. I am so happy that she is doing much better though. And there was something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And that's just the thing. The first, the quite like the first week or so when she was on, I'm sorry, I've been touching my hair so much since having my bangs back. My hair doesn't want to stay in place. So I'm back to my old habits of moving it. And, um, I guess I do have a bobby pin right here. I could pin it back. But, um, yeah, I know. I'm sorry me touching my hair is obnoxious. Those were, like, half the comments in the video from yesterday. You guys were like, stop touching your hair. It's annoying. I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't even know I'm doing it. But, um, yeah. I forgot what else I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Um, that's, that's the thing is, like, since the first few days or so, you know, she felt like she needed to do stuff and she needed to take care of the house. And she's always been the one to do a lot of things around the house and to have someone, you know, step up and help out. She's not used to it. So she, um, since, uh, she stopped being on the pain pills, now she realizes when she's done too much. She's, uh, she's just trying not to take as many or if any at all, because, you know, pain pills can be addictive for some people and she doesn't, she doesn't even want to, you know, get involved in that, I guess you could say. So she's being very smart about it, I think. And she is, um, the dogs were just barking. They usually bark when someone shows up and they hear me talking. So they're barking. And I just heard my mom, it's just Manda, you're fine. <laughs> so cute. But anyway, yeah, now when she reaches too far or bends over too far or something and she realizes what she's doing, it starts hurting. And that's why I enforced it so much when she was on the pain medications because when you're on the pain medications, you're not feeling that pain. So you're, it, you're kind of exerting yourself and you're not properly taking, you're not taking the proper precautions. Um, you're just kind of willy-nilly doing whatever because, oh, it doesn't hurt. I'm fine. It doesn't hurt. Well, when in all actuality, just because it doesn't hurt doesn't mean it's not affecting you. So I guess the majority of the reason I am so adamant about being right next to her through everything is, A, she's my mom and I want to be there for her. You know, she's done so much for me. But B is I'm also nervous that something could happen and I'd be at fault for it. But I do know that everything happens for a reason, and I am a strong believer in that and God, and I know that he will do whatever he sees is fit or right, 
And then another thing is, so I can kind of tell her to chill her roll and slow down a little bit once in a while because sometimes she needs that and she's told me that. She's told me, I want you here so you can tell me when you think I'm doing too much because she doesn't want to have to go through this surgery again. She's already going to have to on the 30th, so why have to go through it a fourth or fifth time? I mean, that's just silly. So, anywho, I'm like going so slow on my makeup today. I don't know. I get distracted when I talk. That's why I don't really do a lot of get ready with me's because it would last like a thousand hours because I would be talking and talking and talking and only have like one shade done on my eyes. <laughs> and I'm using the chocolate bar palette for those of you who are curious. And I already did my eyebrows and my foundation and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, so... That's what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and stop talking right now because I might be filming later and this might be an exceedingly long vlog. I'm not sure. I have to talk to my friend and find out if we're going still or not. And um, that's that's also the thing with um, the makeup is I just wanted to stress this real quick is you should never wear makeup for anyone else but yourself. You should not wear makeup to try to cover up your insecurities. Um, you know, acne and zits are one thing, but to actually cover up certain features and f like reform your face to look completely different intentionally. Like I look at makeup as art and I wear it because it's fun. It's fun to blend all the colors out and play with it and experiment with new shades and you know, it's it's fun. I've always been kind of artistic growing up, and it's kind of just like painting a picture, and no one can really tell you it's right or wrong because makeup doesn't have a rule book. You know, if you wanted to, you could use, um, you know, lipstick as blush, you know, and just like blend it out. You know, it doesn't really matter, and that's what, I mean, obviously there's certain products you shouldn't be putting in certain places, but, um, like, you shouldn't be putting mascara on your lips or something like that. But you guys know what I mean. It it really... And not only that, but <clears throat> it's soothing. It It is really relaxing to me. And with as much stress as I've kind of been... I know it doesn't seem like much work. But for me, I have been really stressed out lately. Just I'm just personal throwing it out there. Um, I've been really stressed out lately. And having makeup just kind of... Let's me start my day fresh and I'm just like, <sighs> let me just be artistic, do whatever I want with my face and go from there. And it's just, it's really relaxing to me and it's kind of like my, my daily meditation or my daily yoga or whatever. So I'm gonna do my face and, um, I need to go check on my mom before I continue, but, uh, I will get off of here. Oh, and I did want to mention one more last thing. You guys have been asking so many, so many, so many of you had been asking, where's Luna? Where's Luna? Luna's in her cage. Um, she is usually nocturnal, so a lot of the time she is sleeping while I'm filming and things like that. Um, so she is right there. There is nothing wrong with her. She is great. She is doing excellent. Hi, Luna. Hi, baby girl. So yeah, she's right there. Yep. So yes, I will let you guys go and hopefully I will chat with you a bit later. I'm sorry if this was all drawn out. And um, a couple other people had been asking, this wasn't really considered, yesterday wasn't really considered a vlog because I wasn't like running errands and doing things. Um, my, my version of vlogs is just, it's video blogging. So you, you video record your thoughts or your activities or what you're doing and for me instead of like writing in a journal or writing in a diary or even typing out a blog post um I just kind of like film my thoughts and what I'm feeling and I consider that vlogging whether you're at Walmart whether you're in the comfort of your own bed whether you're sitting in front of a mirror putting on makeup and just talking to the camera that's my definition of vlogging and yeah, I do plan on at least doing a sit down talky talky type thing um, throughout my entirety of my vlogs. Um, not even for Vlogmas, but just in general. It's kind of how I've always done vlogs. So um, 
yeah, you can expect to see that. I know a lot of people hate it, but, you know, it gives you an insight of kind of knowing more about me on a personal level, and I do. I really want to, like, talk with you guys and let you know who I really am as a person because I'm so much more than just a face on the computer screen showing you a pretty phone case or something. You know, I'm I'm a living, breathing, breathing, living, breathing human being, and I have thoughts and feelings and emotions about certain topics. So, yeah, with that being said, I will talk to you guys later, probably. How are you feeling? Oh, like I had a truck sur neck surgery. <laughs> She's going to lie down and take a nappy. Yeah. In her tired, chair. Tired, tired, tired. Gotta go night, night. Since my mom is napping, I figured that I would probably just go ahead and get on Periscope. My heater, I was going to say my fan, but it's actually on heater mode right now. Um, it's kind of loud and annoying, so I'm also sorry if the lighting is weird. I'm using the back camera for a minute, but I'm about to go on Periscope. Do -do -do. Live on Periscope right now. Everyone say hi. Hi, hi, hi. Everyone's saying hey. My day was good. Hi, guys. <laughs> you guys are so cute. <laughs> meow. I love the random meow in there. That was awesome. I love how you guys are shouting yourselves out. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. Oh, I love all the unicorns, too. I'm vlogging, you guys. Hi, Mom! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright. Aw, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> Hello, me! <laughs> Alright, guys. There is a little snippet from my periscope. Say hi to all these amazing people. You guys are so cute grapes. <laughs> All right. Um, that is probably going to wrap up today's vlog. Unfortunately, I am not able to go to Hobby Lobby today because my friend who I was going to be going with, um, was at work, uh, shoveling parking lots at 3 a.m. this morning because of the snow. So we are hopefully going to go tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow I will be able to vlog going to Hobby Lobby for you guys. That would be awesome. I'm sorry I didn't get to today and today was another kind of just like long drawn out talky talky vlog um if you guys like them awesome if you don't that's awesome i don't care either way i just it feels good to be kind of filming vlogs again because i hadn't been in quite a while so yeah i am gonna let you guys go and i will talk to you all tomorrow hopefully all right so until then so long stay strong stay true this is the ritual when i vlog you guys gotta finish the heart because i can't stay true and be you all right, bye.